The young Queen Rania of Jordan has ushered in a whole new era of royalty. She is a mother of four, including Prince Hussein, age 15, who was recently named the crown prince, the heir apparent to the throne. She has also found her own voice on YouTube. She has a website inviting you to bring your stereotypes, and she will address them and change your mind with facts. But probably closest to her heart is her work for education through a group called One Goal, which wants to make primary school education available to every child on the planet by 2015. And that's where we started when Queen Rania and I spoke. The idea behind One Goal is to really try to get people to demonstrate to the leaders that they want children to uh, to go into schools because I really feel that political will is born out of popular will. At the moment, there are 75 million children who are out of school. To get them into school would cost about 11 billion uh, dollars a year. Now that sounds like a lot of money, but let me put it into perspective. Uh, Americans spend that amount of money on their pets in three months. Uh, Europeans spend that amount of money on ice cream every year. We agonize over our kids' education. We sit there and think, is, did we send them to the right school? Did we make the right decisions for them? Because we understand how important their education is for their future, how critical it is in the, in, in the final um, outcome of their lives. And we just need to realize that every parent feels that way towards their children. Every parent wants to give their children the chance and a better life. Yes, you wrote once uh, that education has been my shield, my sword, and my olive branch. Did you write that on Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's on Twitter. Yeah. It's just something I, mean, I it's just a thought that came to my mind. And are you, you I, I believe you are the first member of a royal family to be on Twitter. I think I, you know, I think I might be, and I find that kind of strange because, you know, Twitter is a, is a venue that would suit somebody in, in my position because, because. Well, because I think with us, it's difficult to make friends sometimes, and, and people are reluctant to speak their mind because sometimes they feel they have to be formal, or sometimes they feel that they don't want to be the bearers of bad news. And Twitter is a, and other social media, not just Twitter, is a great venue where you can really connect with people. It's, it's a way for me to give people a window into my life, and for me to also, it's a gateway for me to look into their their lives and learn a lot. Prince Hussein, now 15. Mm -hmm. Last time we spoke, you said that he really didn't know that he might someday mm -hmm. be king himself. He mm -hmm. does now, mm -hmm. because it was announced that he is the heir to the throne. Mm -hmm. Was that a conversation you had with him? You know, the thing knew? is that, that that isn't even a conversation I had with my husband, because, you know, that is one thing that I knew that it's a decision that he had to make on his own as the head of the country. Now, I heard shortly beforehand that he was going to make the announcement. And, you know, I was divided but as a mother. You know, I, I want my son to have an opportunity to, to have a normal upbringing, to have relations with friends, and just do the things that teenagers do. But at the same time, I also understood that being in this position also prepares him. It introduces him to the protocols, the problems, the people in our country, without necessarily subjecting him to the pressures that come with all those things. I did explain to him that, you know, this is a big decision, but that his life should continue as, as normal, that he has to focus first and foremost on his grades, doing well in school, that he has to focus first and foremost also on being a decent guy, that he's not going to get any shortcuts, that, you know, people will judge him according to his own behavior, according to his own values that he espouses. I love the picture you posted of the two of you, and I'll, I'll mangle what you said, but it was basically savor these moments before your kids decide it's not cool to be seen with you. Oh, it's true. <laughs> it's true, you know, because, you know, there comes a time when your kids just don't, I mean, I mean, even now when his friends are over, I have to sort of just stick my head in and just say hi and disappear very quickly because I know that he just, you know, at this age, they don't really want to be seen with their parents, do they? <laughs> no, definitely not. I have a friend who said, his son said to him, everything about you embarrasses me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Which pretty much summarizes, it's, it's, as I recall. It's tough to accept, but, you know, I guess we have to remember that we were kind of like that with our own parents, so yeah, that allows sure. us to empathize a little bit. We loved your acceptance, your top ten list of your acceptance you, when you got the big YouTube Right, the award. YouTube award. So, you've seen what's on my YouTube channel. Well, tonight I want to tell you the reasons why I launched my YouTube channel. Number ten, because I didn't have enough friends on Facebook. Number nine, because anything Queen Elizabeth can do, I can do better.
Number eight, because I was tired of people thinking Jordan was just a basketball player. And the number one reason why I launched my YouTube channel, because suspicion, intolerance, and mistrust are driving us apart. And that's why I wanted to kickstart a conversation in the world's largest community. Because we're stronger when we listen and smarter when we share. The idea in this, in this uh, website was to just to get people to air out all of the stereotypes that they have in their minds about Arabs and Muslims and for us to try to address some of them. Um, you know, I think there's been in the, in the past, particularly in the past decade, real rifts between the East and West and misunderstanding. And, and you know, for us to bridge this, it has to be through dialogue. It's about education. It's about also human interaction. You know, mm -hmm. the more we interact with one another, the more we realize that we want the same things in life. Thank you for being here. Pleasure. There was a lot more in my conversation with Queen Rania, including discussions about the Middle East and more about her life, and you can see it all on abcnews.com.